नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू न्यूज सेंस यू आर वॉचिंग टी वी विक्रमा नैशनल एंड आई एम सौम्या हेगडे लेट मी रीड अ ट्वीट बाय जे राम रमेश द आर एस एस ट्राई टू क्रिएट डिस्टर्बेंस वेन द ड्राफ्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉज बींग डिबेटेड इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली ऑन जैन फोर्थ नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन here is an authentic record and today it poses as a great champion of the constitution so the congress leader jairam ramesh says after independence when the constitution was being written the rss was not at all in the favor of it they did not want it but today they act like champions of the constitution and to support his statement he has posted a document where he has highlighted a particular paragraph This paragraph is a statement by then Vice President Sri H C Mukherjee. Please go through this paragraph. Why Mr J Ram Ramesh has all of sudden started making statements against RSS? Why is he talking about an incident that happened in 1949? A few days back he made a statement about the recent GST charges. it was in response to finance minister nirmala sitaraman's long post in her statement she has said that gst will be charged to only packaged food not on goods bought in loose quantity in his response where is sarcastically he had asked shouldn't the poor aspire to packaged foods as this was not enough he made one more statement which attracted backlash from the bjp Ramesh alleged that Union Minister Smriti Irani and her daughter run a bar in Goa. Against him, Mr. Irani has filed a case in Delhi High Court, and it has asked him to delete the post alleging Irani and her daughter immediately. The case is still in the court, and we will have to wait to know the judgment. It seems the time and the fortune isn't in much favour of Jairam Ramesh. his rage started with the gst then it went to smriti irani and now it has come to rss let me tell you he deleted the tweet made against smriti irani and as he could not contain this disappointment he made a tweet against the rss he has made a vow not to stop his fight against the organization we saw a document in the beginning in which dr h c mukherjee statement was highlighted okay who is this mukherji let me tell you he was a christian leader chairman of the minority rights committee chairman of the constituent assembly and of course the member of indian national congress dr mukherji had a dislike for rss isn't easy to make a statement against a person or an organization whom you do not like the rss which fought for hindus which always had concerns for the majority of this nation and did not let appeasement politics affect hindus were targeted by mr dr mukherjee and when you make a responsible official position in the government your statements get recorded and that's normal anyway nothing can be done about dr mukherjee and his statement now as many of us were not present back then i'm talking about 1949 but let me look at the timeline of the events after gandhi's assassination rss was banned by the government on february 4 1948 this statement was given on 4th january 1949 please notice RSS was banned as goods say belong to same organization but the ban revoked on 11th July 1949 Now I do not understand how come an organization which was banned can create a disturbance on 4th January 1949 Is it logical is it sensible Let's examine what sort of disturbance its members try to create then The constitution was being written and the discussion over laws to be implemented was happening a constitution which should have equal rights and responsibilities for majority and minority as well was being formed which rss leader has said that he or the organization is against the idea of constitution and they are not in the favor of it please show me 
one single speech in which an RSS leader has said this. Now the minority wants to establish Sharia in India by 2047. You know all about Vision 2047. Who have received and have been receiving benefits want to establish their religious law in the country. Has any RSS member ever said something like this? Have RSS pelted stones and damaged public properties to protest against the constitution? No. You cannot find one single such incident by RSS. Jairam Ramesh, who is now speaking incessantly against Smriti Irani, Narendra Modi and RSS, probably doesn't remember that the RSS he is now hating was once honoured by his very own party. I mean, the Prime Minister then, Mr. Nehru. In 1963, Nehru and his Congress invited RSS to the Republic Day Parade. Recognizing the discipline, its strength and its organizational ability, Nehru invited a contingent of 3,500 members of RSS to the Republic Day Parade. It was a personal invitation by Nehru. If you say RSS is against the constitution, was Nehru also against the constitution? The same Congress which is opposing RSS for everything in the country and calls itself a democratic party imposed an emergency twice in the country. Who is in the favor of democracy and who is in the favor of constitution? Now you tell me. Since its independence, it only practiced appeasement politics and cornered Hindus. The majority of the nation did not get any value from this party. It seems... Gandhi knew the fate of this party. When I say Gandhi, it's Mahatma Gandhi. So, Mahatma Gandhi knew the fate of this party, which is why he strongly voiced for the dissolution of the party after independence. How can RSS and its workers, who have always followed democracy and have always respected the constitution, be any threat to this country? RSS strongly believes in Sanatana Dharma, which talks about peace, love and happiness for all. Vasudaiva Kutumbakam. It has never discriminated and it will never. Who is doing politics over the constitution and democracy is starkly visible. I don't think I need to explain much. I have only one thing to be told to Mr. Jairam Ramesh. Kudki bezati karna koi aap se sikhe. Take care. TV Vikrama National Bharat Bhagya Vidata. Subscribe TV Vikraman National and don't forget to click bell icon button and select all notifications.